Country Interpretive Center, which is a great place to find out about day trips around San Antonio or more about the resort, if I haven't told you enough already. Oh, the caverns! I totally forgot! Let's take a day trip there! Natural Bridge Caverns, which has been open for 50 years. They have underground wonders like stalactites, stalagmites, and fossils. Let's go. <laughs> this is where the tours start, and this is our tour guide, Erin. Hello. She's going to be showing us around the caverns. You got comfy shoes on? Yes. Great. Okay, so where does the tour start? The tour is actually going to start right down there with the Natural Bridge. Let's head down and take a closer look. Okay, cool. They actually used this crawlway that you see right here. They actually had to crawl on their bellies all the way through a 60 foot long crawl space that was 11 inches wide at its narrowest point. And so it brought them out down this tunnel and into this first big room right here. Wow. Seems like a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the difference between a stalactite and a stalagmite? Stalactites and stalagmites are both examples of different types of cave formations. They're what are known as drip stones, so dripping water helps to create them. Stalagmites are the ones that grow from the ground, and stalactites are the ones that grow from the ceiling. And when they do form together, you have a column, when it stretches all the way from the floor to the ceiling. And how long does it take to form them? It's a great question. It takes, on average, about 100 years for just one cubic inch of formation to grow. So something about the size of an ice cube every 100 years. It's a very, very slow process. How did the ones from the bottom grow up? As the water drips, the calcite crystal gets left behind on top, so the crystals basically just stack on top. When the water is dripping from the ceiling, as it comes down, the crystal also gets left behind to create the stalactites that grow from the ground, or from the ceiling. Maybe in another like 800 years, that one will. <laughs> yeah, possibly. A long time from now. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a castle. <laughs> it's so pretty. And I can't believe that Mother Nature formed it. This is the tallest column in the caverns. It's called the Watchtower. And it's 50 feet tall and about four to six feet wide. Next, we have the king's throne. You see a place where the king would sit, a few armrests, a footstool, and then his giant canopy hanging above him. It looks like a jellyfish. It does look kind of like a jellyfish, yeah. a very sparkly jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell. They call this Emerald Lake because you can see the water has that kind of greenish appearance. Just the way the light hits off the surface of the water kind of bounces back that greenish color to you. This room that we're at the bottom of here now is called the Hall of the Mountain King, and it's actually the largest room in the cavern system. It's about 350 feet long, 100 feet wide, and 100 feet from floor to ceiling. So it's so big that we're actually starting down here, and we'll stop again once we get up to the top of the room. If you need to work off a big tap of timber, this is the place to come. I'm about to try some cavern water. Tastes pretty good.
After having a delicious red drink, I'm about to start sluicing at the Natural Bridge Mining Company. Now when you pick up your bag, don't forget to pick up your chart so you can compare what gemstones you got. And you're going to pour some into your mining tray. Pour some mining rough into your mining tray. And you're going you're gonna to swish it around in the water to see what you got. Wow, I got a lot. This looks like moonstone. And this one looks like rose quartz. And this one looks like moonstone. This one sort of looks like a ruby. Let's see, this one definitely looks like obsidian. I'll take this one in platinum setting, please. That was awesome, and it's a lot higher up there than it looks. When I came out here, I thought it was just going to be caverns, but it turned out to be caverns, mining, zip lining, and climbing. A ton of fun. Right across from the Natural Bridge Caverns is the Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. They have really awesome animals like zebras, giraffes, and bison. This is a gemsba. They were sacred in Egypt. These are scimitar horned orcs. They're highly endangered. One hungry ostrich. Peck away, little guy, peck away. no idea how much fun there was to be had at the Natural Bridge Caverns, and the Wildlife Ranch really topped off the day. I had a great time in San Antonio, especially at the Hyatt Hill Country. There was a million things to do, like going down the rambling river, going to the underground, and going to the spot. Oh, and how could I forget about SeaWorld? Getting to meet Dylan the sea lion? He was so cute. And the caverns were beautiful. I can't wait to come back to the Hyatt Hill Country. And you should too. Now, where to next? Ooh.